to show you the difference between cement board and drywall. So here's my drywall. It is wrapped in paper on either side or cardboard or whatever. So if I'm to spray, see how it absorbs the water. So no, 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 don't do it. No drywall in wet, wet areas. Use the cement board, upgrade it, put the cement board in, protect yourself from mildew, mold, and rot. All right, here it is a few minutes later, and you can see where it is still wet and slick and the water is absorbing into that drywall. And that, that if I were to take that off, it's all wet and, and yucky. So it's like that wet cardboard. Now, you can't even tell where I wet the cement board. And it is not wet at all. That's because it's impervious. It does not let fluids pass through it. That's what impervious means, by the way. I had to look it up because <laughs> I wasn't sure. I got the general knowledge by context, but it just means that fluids won't flow through it. Whereas fluids will flow through this and make the, your drywall all wet. So don't do it. Don't use drywall in wet areas. You upgrade it and use the cement board. Here you go. See? Don't want that. It's paper. That's paper siding on both front and back. And that gets wet, soggy, mildew, rot, mold. You don't want it. Use the cement.